What I love the most about this story is the principal character, the lead character of Svenilde. She's a remarkable girl. And I like the other lead characters in classical ballets. She's not a victim. She does not die. She does not just follow the action, but she drives the action. She has two men. One man is her fiance, Franz, who is a simple guy and just, um, you know, looking around. He's in love with Svenilde, but he falls in love with a perfect face. But love, Svenilde knows that. And she teaches a lesson to uh, her fiance. Is what you stick there. They also, also need to have responsibilities. And the other man is much more complex and, and, and dangerous, Dr. Peleus. She is really mean and she, she has crazy ideas. She doesn't respect any other human. He actually wanted to use humans around him. He wants to steal souls, to put the souls of humans into his creations, the perfect dolls. There are, there are contrasting moods in a ballet. And the second act is mysterious and at times scary and funny. But uh, I think the atmosphere is very useful and joyful. And the energy of Svenilda sort of drives the whole and the, the engine of this whole story because she's so clever, she's so energetic, so in charge of her, of her life and of her situation that it's very infectious. And uh, there is also a lot of physically very challenging choreography. And I think it will be a good chance for, uh, for this wonderful company to show off, to show the different aspects and to show the speed, the energy, the, um, the, I think, Italian, specific Italian attack on the stage.